Here is another example of finding the expected value for a continuous random variable x. We want to find e of x for the random variable x with probability density function f of x is x between 0 and 1. f of x is 1 fourth between 4 and 6. Off to the far left here we will use the Greek letter mu which is always going to be the same as the expected value of capital X and because we have a continuous random variable and you can tell that because of the support over here this will be the integral over the support script A of X times F of X DX. Since this is defined in a piecewise fashion, the probability density function, this will be two separate integrals added together. So the first one will go from 0 to 1 and it will be x multiplied by the probability density function on that segment dx. The second segment runs from 4 up to 6 and in this case you will have x multiplied by the probability density function 1 fourth dx. When you integrate x squared you get x cubed divided by 3 and that will be evaluated from 0 to 1. When you integrate x over 4 you get x squared over 8 and that will be evaluated from 4 up to 6. For this first piece when you plug in the 1 you get a 1 third. When you plug in the 0 you get a 0. Plus for the second piece when you plug in a 6 you get 6 squared which is 36 divided by 8 minus 16 divided by 8. Well that is 20 eighths and the one-third is in lowest terms. The 20 eighths each of those is divisible by 4 so this can be written as 5 halves. Common denominator here is 6. This will be 2 sixths. This will be 15 six. 2 six plus 15 six is 17 sixths and 17 six is 2 and 5 six. Once again looking at the geometry for this particular distribution, now this is a very unusual distribution. The range here goes from 0 to 6 so let's put some tick marks in there. This rather unusual probability density function is x between 0 and 1 and it is 1 fourth between 4 and 6. So it looks something like that. The area underneath it is 1 because the area here is 1 half and the area here is 1 half and by the way when it's defined in this fashion it is implicit that everywhere else it is defined to be zero. That's part of this. Many authors will put in a third piece that says zero otherwise but we will not do so. We will just assume that it's zero. Now 17 six that was two and five sixths falls right here and that is the balance point. Notice in this case we have a balance point that is not in the support of X and as as noted earlier that can happen and it does in this case. So the balance point here 2 and 5 6 is the population mean also known as the expected value of X or mu.